What kind of drivers did they use in this campaign? It's also blaming, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's also drawing on these nurture concepts, isn't it? Being a good mother, right? So it's everything together. It's these blame, fear, and then it's nurture on the other side. Um, what happened in Ga Do you know what kind of dish he's cooking? Have you seen that before? Yeah? I think it's called fufu. It's called fufu <laughs> with crab soup. And this fufu is kind of a starchy material that's been pounded for a long time. So the um, carbohydrates, they uh, break and it becomes like a, a, a jelly or mushy substance. And then you pour a soup on top of it and you eat it with your fingers. Yeah. This is kind of a natural dish of, of Ghana. And what actually happened in Ghana when, when this uh, video was launched, it was very popular. It spread like a viral video for very fast. What actually happened is that there was an outroar because a lot of people thought that now eating fufu is dangerous. <laughs> and I mean, they, I'm not joking. So the way that people decode and translate these messages can end up in a very different place if you don't design your campaigns really, really carefully. Yeah? Okay. Uh, last, last example is this uh, healthy settings approach, uh, school, school sanitation. It's very popular, so I thought you should know about it. Uh, there's lots of campaigns around schools. Uh, it's a natural place to change hygiene habits because it's early in life. You can influence children. Uh, you can uh, make, teach them to wash their hands. But of course, uh, you need to make sure that the facilities are there. The hand washing basin with taps broken off and with locks on the doors again. Uh, but um, if you do it right, you can really uh, prune these small kids from an early age. You can, this uh, kindergarten in Vietnam is uh, practicing hand washing twice a day, standing in a line, hand washing and face washing. And these small kids after, uh, this is um, two months after they started in kindergarten, they could do it all by themselves. So it's very potent, very efficient to target small children from an early age. Okay, so summarizing across all these kinds of uh, campaigns, when you design anything, you need to ch think about these things. You need to think about evidence for health impact. Don't go and design a campaign where you uh, teach children to brush their hair, because that does not have a major impact on health. Go for the maximum health impact, right? And you know it's hand washing, sanitation, it's water supply, and some, some food safety, for example. So, so go for the maximum effect. Uh, be very specific about your target group because general or generic campaigns, they don't work. You have to target your campaign. Uh, cost is always an issue. How much money of your budget would you like to spend on sanitation and how much you go into campaigning? Uh, I think I, I did an estimation once <coughs> that it's, it's less than 5% in, in, in all kinds of major water and sanitation budgets by the NIDA that are being put into to, to promote hiking promotion, which is too few money. So you have to find out how much you want to spend. You have to take care of these local norms and cultures. Now you know everything about that. Uh, and you have to change, for God's sake, focus on changing behavior rather than changing knowledge, because knowledge does not automatically lead to behavior. Okay. <coughs> 